I'm the project scientist on the Lucy mission, and we have benefited greatly from Hubble. Four, three. Lucy launched on October 16th, 2021. Liftoff, Atlas V takes flight, sending Lucy to uncover the fossils of our solar system. It's an 11 and a half year mission. Because we are going relatively far from the Earth, we're visiting both the leading and trailing group of the Trojan asteroids. They've never been explored before with a spacecraft. They are in the same orbit around the sun as Jupiter, but they're trailing Jupiter or leading it by about 60 degrees. So they stay almost the same distance from Jupiter as they are from the sun. And they're there because it's sort of a gravitational flytrap. We began in this intensive search for Hubble around the Lucy targets once we knew the Lucy mission was going. It's a difficult observation. It requires going very, very deep with Hubble. And even then, it was right at the, barely at the edge of what Hubble could do. We did find the uh, satellite of one of our targets is an asteroid named Euripides, and it has a tiny satellite that we named Keta. That was found directly with Hubble. We took our cue for that search from the New Horizons mission to Pluto. Hubble did that by finding four satellites. Two Nix and Hydra were found in 2005, and then the next couple were found uh, years later when they realized that the orbital configuration of Nix and Hydra looked like there might be more. And that really enabled a lot of science because we were able to plan ahead and make observations with the New Horizons spacecraft when it went by. Now that we know that there are these satellites around two of the Lucy targets, we'll be able to plan ahead and utilize that knowledge to get images and more information about those targets when we fly by. What Hubble is uniquely good at doing is the kind of observation of these faint, distant things that you really can't do any other way. 